New Silent Hill game. We have to play that. We have to stop talking and play a video game. Um, there's a new one. Amazingly. I've heard two to four hours, which is a solid game. I mean, that's a game. So I'm excited to see what this is. It also looks like it's first person, which is my jam. Uh, warnings for suicide, self-harm, abuse, trauma, and bullying. Um, as I mentioned on Twitter, this game is kind of... Uh, it's really poignant. It came out yesterday because uh, the United States, uh, it was a hearing about Facebook, Instagram, all that shit, and how badly that they have failed children, and how sexual abuse and drug abuse and deaths have been rampant. Bullying has been rampant, and the companies have known and ignored it, and it's an important topic. And also we have the second Silent Hill female protagonist. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. Also very poignant. I want to be strong on my own, without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that. This is also me. the first Japanese Silent Hill in years. And there's something about group individual dynamics and bullying that's very poignant coming from Japan, because that's a huge problem. Bullying is a huge problem everywhere, but... Man, it's social isolation and being pressured to be part of the group, that is such a problem in Japan. Baby girl. That's very pretty. I love the, the static -y effects. Ah, the cell phone is working as the flashlight. I wondered if that was going to be the case. Very cool. The tie-in to... There's something very neat thematically. Where... Yeah, this is a game about bullying and social media, and the phone is such a nexus for that. But it's also going to be the way that we function and survive in this game. It looks like it's going to be our flashlight. It's going to be our guide for quests. It m might function like the radio warning us about monsters. That's kind of what it looked like in the trailer. So it's uh, it's the reason I'm suffering. It's the reason I'm surviving. Like that, you know, that twisted uh, inability to go without it because of this yeah. modern life. Maya we have to have it. To come here. Maya told me to come here. Y'all, I'm gonna be digging into every single corner. Look at this first person Silent Hill. I love it. That's my jam. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's just so. Oh, man, that's so human. I'm sure somebody has said, this is so on the nose, whatever. You know the kind of graffiti I see around my town? There is graffiti on the boulevard. The. The, the capital street that you use to get to downtown that says something like, uh, we are all screwed or something like, like it's, it's something so on the nose. It's just like this. Like that's how people are. The plan to rebuild an overview, Kedenstadt, a town with a long history as a thriving border stronghold. In recent years, those in their twenties have begun leaving en masse causing concern. The aim of the wide scale project is to rebuild and restore its former glory, <clears throat> former glory with help of Chinese investment firms. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision. That's fun. Of this? I like when characters comment on things you read. I think Alan Wake does that. Plans to rebuild have suffered yet another major setback as instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Ah, uh, COVID. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing to the money instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis. Oh, you're just bringing out all the greatest hits! Which forced the plan to involve the corporation and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures due to unfortunate external circumstances. 
struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. City Council is considering ways to revitalize the economy drawn dry, by drawing skilled experts to the area. As of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Man, that's too real. That's too real for like most of the like small to medium cities that everyone is losing their futures. And this also does sound a lot of like a teenager. As someone who has lived with a teenager, sounds a lot like a teenager. Um, 2008, the housing crisis was such a fucking mess. My dad worked for uh, the FDIC, the American government institution that, that watches over the banks. And that shit was bad. We received many inquiries about management af of this building after the recent news. We'd formerly like to hold a meeting to explain our policies. Hope you can find time to attend. Villa residence. So is this like a villa was like an apartment building, maybe? <gasps> a map? <gasps> an Etagen plan. Oh, I don't get to actually take the Etagen plan. Goodbye, Etagen plan. A show! I don't like that. Hello, I was gonna say, shopping cart, maybe there's a gun, but no, there is a child. Somebody really studied their graffiti. This looks like downtown Raleigh. <laughs> Ew. Flowers. We'll repaint it all. Idiot something. Oh, that's cool. I like that. This is very pretty. And it definitely tries, ties into the cherry blossom theme. Cherry blossom. Oh. That's my signature. The game is a bit dark on YouTube. Amazing. You're right, it does look darker because of the... Oh. Oh, is this? Is that a real person? I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. I like the effect on the voice. It oh, this is live action. FMV, baby. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. I like that effect. It's cool. And the the use of FMV is always fun to me. We should do that more. How could I ever be proud of myself? Oh, baby girl. I like that. I like that too. And taking a symbol that in Japanese has so much tied into it thematically uh, it, it's a very important poetic symbol. It has a lot tied into it visually. Like, in my understanding, it's kind of like a hope for the future thing. It's kind of like a fresh start, and turning it into something really awful feels really horrible. For a graffiti artist, spray paint and a blank wall are all you need. In Cut and Stop, the walls of a particular apartment building are the canvas for several artists, with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting her name is short for Cherry Blossom. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reached out to her for comment. Keeping her eyes fixed on her new piece, she had this to say. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. Oh, there was a third page. Added the flowers she depicts on the young girls she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. The flowers represent girls overcoming past traumas or their desire to do so. Oh, the head of the doll fell off? Did I miss something? Oh! <laughs> Was that red blood there before? Man, now I wish I had been paying attention. Where did it come from? Oh, it's that doll. Okay. Amelie, are you alright? You asleep? Sorry if I woke you up. Didn't see you at job yesterday. Still not feeling good? Taking your meds. Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Don't worry about it. How you feeling? I'm okay. I can get some... The controller's doing the phone beeps. Uh, I'm okay. I can get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. Don't worry about it. All good now. A little tired. Gonna get up soon. Somebody's got the depressed sleeps. Okay, I guess that's it. I love the phone effects, so creepy. And when they they become part of the real life, very fun. This game is gonna work for me, regardless of story level, because I'm a very visual person, and some of the stuff I saw in the trailer was badass. Like, very freaky. And honestly, the story doesn't seem badly written at all. It may not be like a Silent Hill 2 Dostoyevsky, you know, whatever, but 
you gotta have stories of all levels. You know, you gotta have baby's first horror game and you gotta have your high art, you know? This is cool. I am upset visually by repetition, by patterns, by repeated holes, like that kind of visually it messes me. And this, the way it kind of looks like almost at a distance, like cracking, like it, I don't like looking at it. Very disturbing. And the theme of like the way it kind of visually mirrors how overwhelming internet comments and texts and tweets can feel it very poignant very well done uh and upsetting to look at like i don't like how that looks it looks wrong to me very much digging it and she has very realistic looking face Oh no. I wonder. You're delusional. No way. I wonder, is it gonna be like a parent? Yeah, I bet you it's gonna be a parent. Recent statistical survey shown the rate of child abuse in last year was nearly doubled over other average developed nations. Recent economic strife and resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. Oh no. It is, mama. You are a modern Alessa, baby girl. It's really cool that they've gone back to the abusive mother-daughter relationship as kind of the start. They've gone back to their roots. Like, it's been years since they've made a Silent Hill, years since they made something new. They've gone back to Alessa and Dahlia and said, okay, how do we tell that story in a modern sense? Also, people that say this stuff is too on the nose, what have you, this is what people say. Like, when people want to insult you, they are rarely, uh, creative. Fat bitch, I've heard that. <laughs> I mean, someone today said I was autistic for liking the new Silent Hill. Like, people are not creative. They're dumb. And mean. I have definitely been called ugly and fat. <laughs> oh no, mama a druggie? Oh no, kiddos on drugs. It's okay, baby girl. I have to take those yum yum pills too. I need the yum yum brain juice. Hello, ta tub of blood. Hello, tub of blood. Hello, can I look at anything? This is an old ass style toilet. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Baby girl, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Her hands look different there, I think. Maybe it was the... Maybe it was the angle. Baby girl. Mom. What about you, Anita? Is that my name? What? You didn't look so hot the other day. I'm guessing she's still in high school. You don't have to worry about me. Obviously, I'm gonna. Taking my meds. Meds are good. What about therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I wonder, did something happen at the school? There was out front. When the game first opened, there was like a bunch of candles and flowers. I wonder if somebody at school died and that's like the, the opening. Dialogue could have been cut from the game entirely. I disagree. I was talking earlier about how I like when characters comment on things. Like, Alan Wake, I think, does that when he picks up stuff. It gives you more of a window into the character themselves. And in a game that's about a um, girl's mental health when she's been bullied and abused, there's nothing wrong with hearing from her. Yeah, it's, it's not breaking bad, but that's not bad. It's a free game. My standards are gonna be down on the ground when you give me free food. Like, this is cool. You made a cool free thing, and I would buy more of it if you invested in making it a bigger thing and polished it more. If this is your rough draft, baby, I'm having a good time. 
They feel bad, you know, all of it. I'll let you know if you need anything. Those guys deserved it. Ooh, somebody get into a knife fight. Somebody get into a knife fight. Knife fight. Ooh, that noise was good. See, th the visuals and everything are winning it for me. This is just very... Ooh, hey! Oh, it's the honor, baby girl! No, 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 turn back around! Baby girl, is it you? It's you, baby! Oh my god, hey! Oh, it's an honor to meet you! Oh, I've been waiting so long. It's so good to see you. I can't run real good. Can I run backwards? I want to look at you more. Oh, your movement's great! I'm dead. I love it. Look at you! Oh, you look cool. They added barbed wire to the concept, too. And I think she's walking... Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool! What the hell just happened? They are pulling on the Silent Hill 3 death is not real thing. When you die, you just come back. They are actually doing that. They are doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Can I see you again? Hey, can I just let you kill me one more time? Hey, girl! Girl, how are you doing? Look at you! I love the movement, the weird feet, the hands, the flowers. Oh, the barbed wire? Oh, so cool. And then it actually shows you exactly how you died and redoes it. Oh, that's so cool. I'm sold. I'm sold. The monster in this, like, occult rebirth thing? I'm done. That's great. That's so cool. Okay, I'm probably supposed to, like, see you and survive this time, so... I guess I'll run away. I love that it messes with the phone. That's a modern version of the radio mechanic. Like, looking at your phone and seeing how it gets all staticky and terrible, it's just like the radio in Silent Hill 1. But modernized. And again, it ties into the theme of the phone and social media and internet connections are why she's been suffering but it's also what's saving her life right now. It's her way to navigate, it's her flashlight, it's her radio, it's, that's such a cool twist. I wanna show you something, can you come to the villa? You hear, I'm in the studio. Maya? There's a monster here, you okay? Okay, she's not gonna reply again. More cherry blossoms! Teenage suicides at infamous building. Rundown apartment complex has become known for suicides with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, with many continuing to enter it and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local residents' security concerns continue to grow. Yeah, this is very cool. This is very, very cool. She has been acting weird. And I like that it's about two teenage girls. It's been a minute since we've had a girl-themed Silent Hill. Oh! Oh! Japanese talismans! Oh, hey. Hey. What you trying to keep out or in? You don't need to explain Silent Hill, because the whole point is not to explain things. So I'm not bothered by it, but I do wonder if there there's going to be some interesting blend of why it's specifically we have Japanese elements and German elements. Okay, so there is an explanation. I'm very curious. Oh, man, I really like that. She's so pretty. And I love the FMV, man. There's something really unsettling and weird about it. Yeah, they only bloom for like a week. Then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful. They fall beautiful. Mm. Oh no, they bloom and fall beautiful. That's not good. That's how I want my life to That's not good, girl. Why is she not replying? On. Oh, baby girl. I have to find her. Where is the studio? Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All the teenagers interviewed said they were ashamed of the risque selfies they posted online. They claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. What all the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. 
The sense of fulfillment they experienced after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. That's too real, man. That's too real. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. Man, town foggy. Oh, I can actually look at that? Oh, the famous suicide spot. Oh, I got a message. That's kind of cool. <sighs> By the way, any more thought about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away, so... Once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way. I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go. It's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I'd help you. It's fine. I can't do anything. Don't know what I'd do if I got in. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Baby girl. What about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Oh no. Comparing yourself to your friends never goes well. Emily doesn't get it. Gotcha. So he don't really like this place. I like the weird vocal fry or whatever it is on her. It's weird. People in this town see graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. Hmm. You notice the posting. There's no way out. I love the look that, like, the hints of the cherry blossoms growing inside, and then we saw that monster where they're like, on the face, oh no. These aren't even finished, and they look this good. Mm. Oh, we can turn a page. <laughs> they seem happy. So pretty. I really want to know who the real world artist is that drew these. A new life. Uh oh, a new life. Are we doing a? Uh, uh oh, did somebody plant a ch cherry blossom seed? Uh oh. So full of life. I don't know if this game's gonna be about that. Are you here? Maya? Where are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, respond, please. Hmm. Why won't she reply? Where are you? Am I going crazy? There's something a little bit off with her face. But again, this being a free game, I'm gonna guess that they didn't give it all the bells and whistles. And some of the movement in her face looks a little off because of that. It's not horrendous. It's just clear that, like, it's a free game. It's the best looking free game I've ever played! Oh! Askuzem. Hmm. I haven't even finished looking at this one. Oh, there's no prompt, okay. You go look at this one. Kind of looks like veins without the flowers. It's beautiful. Who did Maya have in mind? Did you okay, so there are some too? discussions this essay. Warning to everybody. I had a feeling it could go that way. Even given Silent Hill. That's so pretty. Look, they're on the X. <laughs> they're on the X app. Oh, baby girl, you can't pay attention to the numbers. You can't, because if you get obsessed with the numbers, so new followers here. then you'll never make videos you actually enjoy. You need to upload stuff like this to get as many likes as Maya. Sexy. <laughs> Loving it. Oh, baby girl. 
stuff with the boring photos already. No sexy stuff, no followers. Mm. Wow, you hate your followers? Congrats on reaching your follower goal. Come on, we want sexy Stop. pics already. Stop! Please! Oh, getting phone call. This is too real, given what I know has happened to people and what. I'm sorry. Oh man, you this shit is real. She looks stressed. The expressions work. I guess I haven't accepted Maya's death yet. Uh oh. Huh? Why did she jump from the villa? Yeah. Why did she It's a Silent Hill. Maya's dead? Yeah. Wait. Maya's really dead? Mmm. I had a feeling that was going to be it. Uh, how? How could I forget that? Very easily, baby girl. You have no idea. People who don't deal with death don't know. Whenever that stuff comes up, they're like, What? Forgetting again? The year my dad died, I used to wake up every morning and suddenly be hit with the reminder, somehow, some way of, Oh yeah, my dad's What's dead. This? I would forget it for periods of time, like every day. Like, you don't want to think about it. You don't want to remember. It's very easy to convince yourself it's not real. Mmm, baby girl. That always hits me really hard when you deal with stories. Like, obviously Silent Hill 2 is the extreme of that, dealing with it in a very detailed, deep way. But, like, this kind of story really gets me. Because that's, that's legit. That's a real way that people experience death and loss in their lives. Like, they don't want to remember. Hello? Oh, that's the door. Uh-oh, we have Cherry. Oh! CB. CB's on the door. Oh, man. And it's cool that in this one they've kind of come out and said, like, she for she's like, how could I have forgotten? Because that is, that's something you feel. And it is reacting to monster presence. It's working like the radio. Oh, that is so cool. I'm digging this a lot. Or was trying to tell me something. Yeah, when the phone goes all staticky, the controller does too. That's cool. This is very Silent Hill Shattered Memories with the changing world and something chasing me. Oh, but I like this monster a lot better. Hey, ring around the rosy. Ring around the rosy. It's all your fault is what that says. So she feels to blame for Maya's death. Oh, no, can't go that way. That's some downpour-ass gates right there. Hello, can't go that way. Hey, girl! Oh! Oh, that's creepy! Oh! And the monster's smarter than me. It took another turn and got in front of me. Holy shit. Oh my god, I am digging the hell out of this. Vibes. Alright, let's try again. Oh, I love that they're actually keeping her consciously aware of the fact that she's dying. How fucked. Oh my god, this is so cool. Where am I? I am digging this. This is some clock tower style. Like, shattered memories chasing. The problem with shattered memories was always... It... I don't know. The way it made you feel too safe at times. This one so far, I don't know. It hasn't made me feel too safe. I don't know. We'll have to see how it fully plays out. It does look like it's doing the division. I like that picture a lot. That her art lives on. That's a really pretty picture. Even more followers. Finished my masterpiece and then she kills herself. Oh god. That's really sad. No one is ever going to notice me. And that's so sad. She's so mm. 
Oh, and now she's gonna- okay. Oh my god, baby girl. This is I love how just in your face about real shit this is. Silent Hill's always about real shit, but this one's very much coming out and just saying it. And it's an important thing to say right now, because it's been how many years and we still haven't done anything about this shit? Facebook's still a bajillion dollars. Yeah. It really does feel real. I can see where people are complaining that it's a little shoddy on the writing, but again, I don't think it's bad writing. It's a little more juvenile, but we need juvenile horror too. And this is about teen bullying, so who is it for? Who does it uh, resonate most with? I think we need more horror that deals with the real shit and, and lets teenagers feel cathartic. You know, that cathartic release when you see a story that really resonates with you. Okay, it is not over. Oh, it's doing the rewind death thing! <gasps> All the way back to the beginning! Holy shit! Oh, that's so cool! We're in a loop! They're con- they are confirming Silent Hill lore here today. You can't die, you are in a loop. Oh my god. How are people not freaking out about- no one's freaked out about this on Twitter? Like, what? And the hole in the wall's bigger and it's bleeding. <gasps> oh my god. You find it. Find what? Can't leave till you find it. Is this really you, Maya? Can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead. You're not her. Can't leave till you find it. Who the fuck is this? You can't leave till you find it. Tell me. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh man. Look, the hole's bigger. Silent Hill 4 ass hole in the wall. Bad girl gets an empty plate. Was that there before? No, it wasn't. Last time you just opened the fridge. Mmm. Wait a fucking minute. The baby has barbed wire on its wrists? No, no, that's bad. You're not supposed to do that to babies. All your fault. I'm gonna guess the voice that's been saying all this stuff to her is definitely her mom. Her painting's been all messed up. Because, you know, in real life, nothing's there to protect her art, and now she's dead, and now her art is also gone. Like, that's gonna really mess up. That, that would mess you up. Uh, what? Who would do this? Oh, okay. Okay, switcheroo. That was not the- Oh, hello. Um. Oh, hello, pulsating bags of trash. Okay. Oh man, that's cool. I like that. Can I take this? I want this. Give give this. Or the darts. I want to play darts with Cherry Blossom Monster. Children who turn trauma into tales. All the teenagers surveyed suffer from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences, and interestingly, all of them conceptualize those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her loving real mother existed elsewhere. Another girl, girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. Those convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the stories surrounding it. Mmm. Sad. Sad face. Oh, my phone's Wait, back. It's back on. Oh, that's so sad. There's no point in living anymore. I've definitely seen that on an actual toilet wall. Uh, how could somebody do this? Mmm. Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. Oh! I didn't like that. I don't like that. I do not. 
They all have darts in them. I don't like that. And by don't like that, I mean I like it very much. Thank you. Very cool. First jitters I've gotten of the stream. Very, very delightful. Thank you. Ah, the same conversation. Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. You feeling okay? Good enough to get out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. Is Maya really dead? Mmm. Why are you asking that? Please tell me. Still can't believe she's gone either. Wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. Maya really is dead then, yeah? Are you okay? Are you getting enough sleep? Kinda. I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. You're so good to me, but you're leaving me behind. So that's uh, part of why she was saying people at their school were going to therapy, because one of their classmates died. Um, and the whole conversation about, I can't go to college, you know, my friend is leaving me, that's also a really legit feeling. Especially for, like, abused kids, because there are often, you know, kids whose parents refuse to pay or refuse to let them go to school. Maya really didn't tell you anything. All she talked about was a book she read recently. I feel guilty for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me, I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say More talismans anything? on the wall. Like, at all? So what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves. Oh they man, were... oh, I have a thought. Something beautiful from something. Oh, shit. It's kind this of is changing, doing some it? shit. I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. The post-it notes in the wall. Right, no. Really flowery and passionate way. This was real life FMV. They had to write and post all those notes. What a headache. K kudos. <laughs> I also wonder if the FMV was maybe a cost-cutting measure. Would it be cheaper to record live action than to do full like 3D cutscenes? I wonder. Because it lets them not have to create any other character renders except for the main character and the monster. Okay, so my thought. Japan has, as we said, a major problem with suicides. More than that, it has a major problem with author suicides. The, especially in, like, the 20s, 40s, when things were bad, and writers in that period, one, were very depressed, very suicidal, and put those feelings into their artwork almost like it was their will and testament and then they died. No Longer Human is basically an autobiography of this guy's life about how depressing and hard his life has been and the author in real life does kill himself. Multiple other authors did that. Uh, Yukio Mishima, reading about his works and his life, he idolized death his whole life and wanted to die for a great cause. And he wrote a book called Confessions of a Mask, which is a thinly veiled autobiography about his life and his depression growing up as a gay man in Japan at that time. And then he led a very poor, poorly run rebellion, which was really just a stage for him to commit suicide on a grand scale and in a public eye. And he did, he committed suicide. Uh, they have a number of very famous creative people who in the 20th century ended their lives. Their, their sense of creativity and their desire to die was really tied hand in hand. Like this sense of my art is my expression of part of my death. Like this here, here is my manifesto. I'm going to go kill myself now. Trash room. It's my room! It's a room for me. Put the fucking wrists on the fucking baby doll. God. This is all your fault, everything, you're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend, my place in this world, all of it. You don't even care, I'm invisible to you, I fucking hate you. You're not talented, you're not special, you call those shit stains art. You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off, get out the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. Something definitely happened. I am digging the fact that there is a lot to explore and look at in this game. While also there is a scary monster that wants to eat my face. And all the baby dolls, ugh. 
Medical University of Medicine orientation. Welcome, incoming freshmen. Founded in 1709, DMU is one of the, uh, Europe's oldest, most revered institutions. State-of-the-art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Orientation details. Yeah, so this is definitely about her friend going to college, too. Only a bit frustrated with that minute to talk. Sure, what's up? You seem kind of out of it before. If something's bothering me, you, you can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up, don't want to pry. It's okay, I don't mind. We should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever, plus my brother's coming here. Right, you okay? Yeah, I'm gonna try and avoid him as much as possible. Uh-oh! Shopping, yeah, we can find something cute. I'm good, not a fan of crowds. Anything- nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that, you're way too hard on yourself. You got the looks, you need to find the right outfit. This is where all the toilet paper went in 2020. Oh my god. It's the COVID bathroom. Finally focused on my studies. I think I might pull- Oh no, this is October 2020. Uh, I might pull an all-nighter. Won't be good for my skin. I can hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Uh, Mom and Dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. Time to hit the books till morning. Dad was talking about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better, but everything got canceled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happening, even if things worked out. Not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city where college life is waiting for me. Everything's riding on my entrance exam next year. I have to get out before my brother comes back. Stay home, alone. Stay home alone. Why are all the refrigerators in this game mean to me? What did I do to you? Got some materials from my first choice in the mail today. I'm gonna be a college freshman. So happy. Still can't believe it. Mom, Dad, I'm gonna study my ass off. Be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. Mom and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without the rebuilding plan? This means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work was for nothing? No way. Don't leave me, Mom. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. Mom just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have a PS5 now. I do. I bought one over the holidays because um, Final Fantasy VII has Vincent Valentine and Sid Highwind in it, and I have to play that when it comes out. This was a nice bonus. And it's kind of fitting. My first PS5 game, first PS5 live stream, is Silent Hill. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. Konami heard, they heard, oh, Muse is buying a PS5. It's time. Drop the game. Drop the game! Young student found dead. Possible suicide. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of an apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital, but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. No note or diary was found, but police believe her death may be suicide. I wonder if that oh, is not like this though. Right? Oh no, is it gonna be a double twist? Is it gonna be like, yeah, all your friends are dead. Hamili's dead too. Congrats! <laughs> all your friends are dead. Ooh, hello. No likey. You stop that. You stop that. Maybe I don't want to go that way. Maybe I go this way. You can't tell me what to do. Create to live. Oh no, I'm in school. Oh man, it's a Silent Hill skateboard! <laughs> they finally put it in the game! Hello. Hi, gang. Dumb. That laugh is pretty nasty. Did someone throw a shoe at me? Man. High school sucked. I'm so glad I'm not in high school anymore. Oh. Witch! Oh! You like Alessa? Poor baby. Fucker? Oh. What the hell? That's not good. Get out, you freak slut. Your arms fucking your freak. Your whore mouth. Oh. 
Ho. Oh. oh my god. Oh. This definitely mirrors like anxiety attacks, panic attack, like I wasn't bullied in school, but I was overwhelmed by school. I had problems for sure. And this is definitely bringing some vibes. Uh oh. Are you back? Oh my god, look at the walls. Oh, that's freaky! That similar area. Oh, hi! Don't like you guys! Oh, it turned around. It coming for me. This thing is smart. This is a smart monster. Oh, man. Not again. Not again. Mm. What do they do to deserve this? Mm. The similarities with Alessa are so many. Yeah, definitely. I really love that the first return to Silent Hill in true form is going back to a bullied girl. You know, like it just narratively it just matches up so well it's very nice and it's still relevant 25 years later even more so because the internet's made it so much easier to be mean and bully people well for no reason find it find what find it just tell me what i'm looking for find it huh what the fuck am i supposed to find i also don't understand people have complained about the voice acting sounds fine to me I haven't really been in a good mood since this morning. I tried to lose myself in my graffiti, but wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because mom and I argued? Probably not. We've clashed before. I've known for a long time we value different things. Is it because my classmates teased me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just taking their issues out on someone. It's gotta be because I lost that special person and the hope he gave me, right? Why do I feel like this? I've never felt like this before. Hmm. Oh, it's Rose from RE Village? That's fun. That's an interesting connection. Oh, this picture's done. It's her, isn't it? This picture's done, and this one's all ruined. Is it going to let me look at more pictures this time? Because last time it cut us off. Ah. Looks familiar. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Amelie. Oh no, that's not her then, it's her other friend. The one that wants to go to college. Hmm? What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer then. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. You're free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> oh no. Is that her she was talking to? No, it was about Amelie. She's jealous. Oh. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. Oh. The library. So I'm back at school. Ah. Uh, can't tell you how many times I used to spend my lunch hour in the library just to get away from all the noise. No oh, bye, Consala. See you later. This will be, um, I have a stream archive. If you've not checked it out, check the description. You can watch all the streams from the last, like, five, six years. Lots of Silent Hill, lots of horror, lots of everything. Um, there's also a book channel if you're interested in books. Uh, but I'll also be posting a highlights reel of this for sure. I borrowed that book you wanted. Hmm. <gasps> I finished it, 
So it's all yours. This is the something to do with a book. They mentioned earlier a story she read and then she died or something. I wrote my impressions in a letter. Oh, she wrote the letter. Read it when you get home, okay? Oh no, she didn't look good there. Because earlier she said somebody else wrote a letter? I think we might be getting mixed perspectives of these three girls. I don't know if we're always seeing it from Anita's perspective. I don't know. That's really sad. Where was it? That book. Cherry blossoms. Hmm. The witch hunt. Uh oh. In 1930s Germany, the town attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Behind that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. That's based on real history. <laughs> there was really a woman uh, much later. Uh, it was like the 1980s, 90s. Um, there was like this huge boom in land speculation and a bunch of shit. And there was a woman that really high level, like economic people, like people that were making, you know, putting money in stocks and corporations and stuff would go to this woman. And this woman had a magic toad and the magic toad would tell people what they should invest in. And people spent like billion, millions, bajillions of dollars based on this woman and her magic toad. And then eventually I'm pretty sure she went to jail for like speculation or something. I don't know. I don't know the whole story because economics aren't my thing, but I've read about her because she comes up in various stories and stuff of Japanese history because she was very infamous. Like, that is that is some real ass shit. She would become come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would be greatly respected by the German people. In 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread through the industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories. The witch was hospitalized and jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed uh, herself. Oh, here we go. Malicious magic to blame for city slump. Kettenstadt continues to see a rapid decline in population. Birth rates a mere 0.7, less than half the German national average. Miscarriages are at 31%, more than double the average. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industrial city has failed to revitalize itself twice. A number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch as the cause of the economic downturn. The witch was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed. Before her death, she is believed to have placed a curse upon the town, stymieing its growth. Ah, oh, apparently it means chain or chained town. Very fun. Ah! Is this life? Aha! It's like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. Still wait for you. Oh no. No way. Still wait for you, and there's one, three, four, five, six, six volumes. We're missing number two. And we we have cat. 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 Alfred. Look over here. Hi, yes, pettings. You come and comfort us in scary game? Thank you. Very helpful. Uh, yeah, I feel like they definitely released it because projects have been delayed, taking too long. They haven't had anything to go out yet. Yeah, the door no longer says CB. Yeah, I don't know if this was what this might have originally been, if it was always a free teaser of some kind. I don't know. I like this a lot. Why does this always happen? The music here is very good too. I've never seen Maya like that before. You all right, Anita? You left me on red, I was worried. Not sure if you know this, Maya was bullied at school. So the memories are Maya's. I know. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue. Then it was too late. 
Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. And of course, this girl feels like Amelie was her favorite. Like, God, that, that kid dynamic of like... It's not true. Mm, kids never... They have such trouble understanding their feelings and other people's feelings. Ugh. Yeah, Yamaoka is working on uh, Slitterhead with Toyama. He's doing the music for it, which is really cool. And s everything about Slitterhead sounds awesome. Like, he's basically said he wants to make a seinen manga as a video game with, like, horror and action themes. Sounds super cool. Uh, what? Wonder why Liar keeps coming up. I want to know what's going on with that. What is the lie? I don't know. I never locked my locker. A lot of people at school back then didn't because, uh... People just didn't give a shit. And they got mad at us. They were like, you have to lock your locker or we're going to take your things and put them in the principal's office. It's like, fucking why? Like, I literally only kept my textbooks in there and who's going to steal those? <laughs> That'd be so weird. Maya's locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't oh, here no. either. All the razor blades. And then they're in the shoes. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely a blend of like, we're seeing Maya's memories more than I think we're seeing ours. Is that a zero? Okay, oh, and there's a three. So it looks like one, zero, three are in it. <laughs> what kind of idiot uses one, two, three, four as the code? It's the stupidest combination I ever heard in my life! That's the kind of thing an idiot would have on his luggage! <laughs> One, two, three, four, that's the code I use on my luggage. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. That's amazing. I've got the same combination on my luggage. <laughs> Tell me someone in chat gets what I'm referencing. Please, don't make me feel old. Inside. And I can't look away. I've been a fan of gaming muse YouTube channel since the what middle of 2018. Wow, what a king. We have a truly patient, patient person in chat today. Lord. Oh, man, 2018? Let's try and forget those years. Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment, simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty. If only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world. Gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People... People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different, hate them, try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together. Amelie. Just me and you. That was very, uh, very emotional. Very, uh, Mary reading her letter at the end of the game. Very sad. And again, if you want to watch me stream, there's like five years of live streams archived on the archive channel in the description. Maya, you have everything. You're way more talented than me. So... Why? Why take Amelie from me? You acted like I wasn't even there. Amelie is my friend. She's mine! Oh, man. Uh, I only wanted to take...
take her down a bit. Oh no. She, she was taking Amelie away from me. She wouldn't pay attention to me. Oh no, she did something and then the girl killed herself. How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? Hmm. <laughs> Man, I had a feeling it was gonna be something like that, but I, I wasn't, I wasn't entirely sure. I like the switch with perspective in this game, where they really, they've kind of made you walk through different perspectives and expl like expectation that you, oh, you're best friends of so and so. Oh no, you're not. You're a third viewer who wanted to be part of that relationship, was jealous of that relationship, and in her head, put herself there. For all pictures of my friend, oh no. It's the two of them. It's your fault. Cherry Blossom! Where are you, Cherry Blossom? Some people are saying it's cringe, as if they were never a teenager. That's what teenagers are like. Yeah, that's this is very real to teenagers. Uh, as someone who has a lot of experience with teenagers, I I could swear I heard it. There it is. Hey, get me. Oh yeah. Okay, bye. My bad. Seems more like Shatter Memory is not a good thing. Yeah, it is. It can be a good thing. Shatter Memories had some good shit going on it. It had a weakness in that its length and the way that its storytelling was divided with the chase scenes was done pretty poorly. It just felt too safe. And that was my main problem with that game. But I mean, we've had chase scenes and, and sections of safety and danger since Clock Tower. Like that's entirely Clock Tower, Haunting Ground, um, Amnesia, Outlast, like that's just a thing in games now. And this game being much yeah. shorter What's up? and still feeling pretty tense in the short sections between monsters is pretty great. So I'm digging it. And the loop Why? element is really cool. The fact that she knows she's dying. What are you talking about? You and Maya wrote letters to each other, right? Yeah, but then Maya oh, jumped no. off the villa roof. She wrote a letter as Amelie. No, okay, she took a letter? Letter. That letter was a message for you. Well, why are you telling me this, Anita? I was jealous of Maya. I was afraid she'd take you away from me. My mom was right. I should never have been born. Hmm. Found the story predictable, tired of horror games having people run away. I disagree. I think it's a fun tool in the toolkit, and a lot of games do it really well. If it's not your thing, then obviously you should seek out horror that doesn't do that. Um, but I think this game does it very well. That monster is upsetting and really enjoyable. And the story, predictability or what have you, you gotta tell this kind of story. This is so relevant. Like I was saying yesterday, they were having hearings on Facebook and bullying and children committing suicide because of the internet and how we're still not doing anything about it. Like this is so relevant. And to make it free, so theoretically like any teenager whose house has a PS5 can play this game and feel seen in it. And the fact that it's written at their level and deals with the stuff they're dealing with in a really real and poignant way. And also really resonates with Silent Hill and its history because Silent Hill was about Alessa and bullying from day one. It's great. I am digging this a lot. This feels really cool. I really, really dig it. And I don't, the, the writing level, oh man, there's, there's nuance here for people that want something deeper. What? And there's stuff that ties into overall lore. The rebirth, the dying and coming back, the monster possibly being the person that she accidentally killed. Like, God, the time element, the, there is some cool, deeper shit happening here that I think you could definitely dig into. But it also has that surface level accessible narrative that is really relevant and valid for teenagers today. And oh my god, it's her own corpse. Again, lore! Lore! 
James finding his own corpse. Now we have another character doing the same thing and acknowledging it and talking about the fact that she remembers dying. Because James didn't really. Heather, we saw Voltiel dragging her body back, but Heather never herself talks about it. How can I get you to forgive me? Please, Maya, tell me. Why won't you say anything? God, the hole is so much worse now. I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. Couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. A lot of girls killed themselves here. Teens, supposedly. Famous spot for people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me feel a little queasy. Were they not scared? What was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or to something? Okay, the fridge is like that again. Okay, that's a new message, though. It's a new message. And there are more angry baby dolls with bite marks, maybe? The suicide rate has increased. Oh! The Silent Hill phenomenon. The suicide rate has increased around the world in large part due to the struggles brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, with countries still unsure how to handle the issue. These trying times have been given rise to a strange phenomenon in many areas. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog even on fair weather days, and lose consciousness shortly after. This has been come to be known as the Silent Hill Phenomenon, named after a similar event that occurred in an eponymous U.S. town. The first to propose a theory explaining why this could be happening is Dr. So-and-so, a social psychologist, who had the following to say on the matter. To one who is psychologically unstable, fog represents uncertainty and sensory illusions. When in a state of high stress, one's vision may become obscured or tunneled as if one is wandering through a dense fog or mist. Societal uncertainty or apprehension about the future manifests as fog, thus blurring the lines between illusion and reality. As time goes on, we are seeing more and more cases of the Silent Hill phenomenon. In response, uh, the doctor calls for a rapid rebuilding of society, as well as a stronger emphasis on counseling and mental care health for the youth. Are they canonically saying that COVID-19 made Silent Hill go global? I love it! That's so great! That's such a great, just... This is our excuse. We can put Silent Hill anywhere now, man. You want Silent Hill in Antarctica? We got you. We could do Silent Hill The Thing. We could do Silent Hill California. We could do Silent Hill anywhere, and I love it. It is just an excuse to give them room to do what they want. And that's absolutely fair, because as far back as Silent Hill 2, the team was really stymied by the fact that they felt like they couldn't do more with the games and their locations. And that's why Silent Hill 3 started outside of Silent Hill. They were worried it was gonna piss off fans, but they were also really bored with the environment they'd created, because they felt like being a small town and what they'd already kind of characterized Silent Hill as, they couldn't give a subway station or a big mall or like, you know, so they created this outside town in Silent Hill 4, Sil er, Silent Hill 3. And then Silent Hill 4 does the same thing where they're outside Silent Hill. And of course, both times, like people back then complained about the fact that it wasn't actually Silent Hill. Well, here you go. They're like, fine, COVID, Silent Hill's everywhere now. Like, it's just perfect. They just want an excuse to be able to make Silent Hill in Japan or Silent Hill somewhere. I love it. I love it. That is so fun. And this is what I'm talking about with, I've mentioned this on uh, Twitter and everything. Silent Hill is campy. It's not just pure horror. Silent Hill is camp. It has been camp since the beginning with gyromancy and all that stuff. I love it. I love it. Yes, they could make it in New Zealand. They could do it. They could do it. Silent Hill in Alaska. I love it. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. 2011. Hmm. Maybe this is the mom? She's mentioned a mom, but not the dad. Maybe now we're looking at her family history. 2012. My new man showed up to the place with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She's slower than other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. It's the cycle. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in hand from the new place he's raving about. This is why this place is full of pizza boxes. It wasn't Dante. 
My daughter hated the pizza. She's picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. Kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted. She says kids. Maybe this is the person referring to the, the brother. Somebody was talking earlier about not wanting to be around their brother. Uh, he said he wanted to relax. Makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for the, him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with him, with them. We need him for a happy life. I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. He told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. Also, I am locked in this room. I was afraid of that. As soon as I read the letter about being locked up, I was like, they go lock me in this room, ain't they? Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me out, Mama. Mama! I've been good! Let me out, Mama! Mama! I don't want to go in the closet, Mama! How do I escape? Oh, there's a painting. Okay. I'm giving up my life for you! That no good. That's no good. What the hell? Like, I have a lamp right here. Does it have to be on top of my head? I need a better camera, is what I need. I put it like right there. It helps a little bit. It helps a little bit, Batman. This is Batman. Hello. Batman's brother Alfred is hiding in the corner. He might come out later. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he bought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately, I've left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. I got contacted by child welfare. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. Oh my god. The fuck do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? I think there's a child crying in a closet. We've reached out to you repeatedly, but have yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of remedying the issue. You're in violation of blah, blah, blah. The federal court has instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objections, please contact us as soon as possible. Krista Planert. Huh. Yeah, I think somebody's crying. Don't you dare go out. And there's, like, rust on the floor. Stop. Oh my god. Oh man. So all the dirt and gross and nasty stuff. The closet we woke up in is the closet she's been getting locked in. Oh my god. It's got the hole she was drawing on the wall. Boy found dead in refrigerator, mother arrested. Boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41-year-old mother who was arrested for hiding the body. Person claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. When she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator, conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, the daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for neglect. When detectives arrived, they discovered the bo brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed. Mmm. Yeah, some major coin locker baby vibes. Some Silent Hill 4 vibes. There's nails on the wall. Oh. Why have people disliked this game again? It's the flower monster! So it was her mom all along. Generational trauma as a curse, the witch's curse. Mm. And those are her hands in the closet, which is theoretically also the womb trapped. Oh my god. Damn. 
um Now, of course, she feels Just like she is cursed. She ended up hurting somebody she cared about who then died. The cycle continues. <clears throat> Damn. Why am I seeing this room here in the villa? Because I have a feeling the entire villa so has just been your house. Space. This was the opening. Like, God, that is a cool reveal. People saying this game is, like, poorly or not subtly written... That is such a cool, subtle reveal to have had that building on the wall and then to walk in here and go, oh, it was the closet she was locked in. That's a very cool little little turn. I read that. Oh, the fridge is open now and the baby's in the refrigerator. That's not good. God. This is really cool. Uh-oh, Flower Man's back. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's my mom. Uh, oh no, I went the wrong way. Hi mom, hi mom, please let me, oh no. Oh my god, look at how all the big teddy, like the toys and shit. And her face showed up on the camera, I think, for a second. Oh no, it's Silent Hill 4! Oh god! Silent Hill 4 got me killed. I'm sorry, mom. So don't go that way, cause door locked. Presumably I have to do something to unlock it. Man, I'm almost sad this is already over. Like, God, I have been enjoying the hell out of this. And she keeps reacting. When will this end? Very cool. And this effect here is absolutely horrifying, and I love it. Oh, there was one back here. Oh, hi! This is very uh, End of Silent Hill 4 setting Walter free vibes. Oh, man. Find all the bodies. Why, and then all the little voices reminding, like, uh, what Walter's parents said when they left him. Very Silent Hill 4. It's neat, the little pieces of older games that you can kind of see at work here. What are you hiding inside? I think it looks like there's one more. No! I had almost all of them! <sighs> My controller needs to stop laughing. Okay, no, I think that goes back that way. <laughs> Never mind. That's a good way. That's a great way to go. I'll go this way. Oh, are you kidding? Uh... You like what you see? Come here, bitch. Come on, get in this hallway. Get in this hallway. Get in this hallway. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, pretty. Come on, don't just stand there. Get your stupid ass down this hallway so I can come this way and you not come get me. Aha. Bye, bitch. <laughs> no, no, screw you. Okay, this guy is on me. Shit. Oh, man. <sighs> Now, nah, see, this is not frustrating to me. This is really cool because chase scenes can be very fun and they can really frighten you and keep you tense. Games like Clock Tower and Clock the Haunting Ground do that. But they can become really predictable and the way that horror, to keep things fresh, horror has to subvert and change. And making another chase scene where suddenly now you can't just do what you did last time. You have to think you have to plan, you have to see where the monster's coming and avoid it and not try to escape it, but try to move with it is really cool. And I'm starting to get the feeling of the map, like where things are and when the phone is telling me where the monster is. Like I'm getting that down. I just can't find where this last missing thing is. Way back, 
Yeah, this is very tense. You cannot just run away. You have to think. And having to think while you're also kind of panicking about what you're supposed to be doing, that's tough. That's good horror. You're into art, right? You could okay, I could swear class. there's another one this way. First dude. This dude on me. Come here, you. Come on. Where are you going? Come on. Come on. Hey. Hey. Bitch ass. Hey. Bitch ass. Yeah, come on. Come this way. Hey. You hear me. Come on. You hear me. Yeah, that's right. Come this way. Come this way. Yeah, we're getting picture face. We're getting picture face. Picture face. Picture face. Something in that section behind me. I'm missing it. We have to circle back around. Maybe I need to go left. Right, this corner. We got one What's more. That? It's the elusive one. Oh, you like what you see? The elusive one. All right, where is bitch? Hi. What is the elusive one we're missing? Ugh done that. Hi! Sorry, I really can't read chat right now. I'm sorry, gang. I will try and read more chat later. Okay, I don't think I've been in. Yeah, we got face! We got face! We got face! Way too hard on yourself. Now, where was that locked door? We did it! That was really cool. I dug that. No baby girl. I've been really absorbed in my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might finally be free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. My roof piece is almost done. It might actually be my crowning achievement. But once this is done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it'll show up? The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about all this. At approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, popular graffiti artist CB Maya Aso Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in Kenetstadt. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock to not only local community members, but those who were familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity and the lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Wait. She killed herself. Half a year ago? Then that means I've been here this whole time. Damn, they're actually talking about. What would it take for you to forgive me? Please end this. Just let me die. Mm. Man, they're talking about some real Silent Hill lore here, like. We've always wondered, how does time pass? Do people experience it? Like, this is saying, yeah, six months have passed and she's just been reliving the same nightmare. Is this me? When did she draw this? I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So, she did notice me. Okay. We've just uh, left the reality zone. We're in the nightmare zone now. Stay to the end of the credits. Thank you for the hint. I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. Hmm. Oh. 
don't know. I could have had a different life, too. I guess someone finally did love me. I like how it's tying all the themes of depression and suicide and such also into creation you and how they relate. Actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Mm. Emily. What should I do? This is giving me very Alan Wake ending vibes. I really, really like the touches on her. Her skin is not perfect. It's got blemishes and things. Reminds me a lot of Heather's. But Heather's blemishes were still very pretty. They weren't necessarily realistic. And hers are very, very realistic. Aww. That little moment where she, like, hangs back. That's really lovely. I was wondering how they were going to pull an ending because they're talking about, you know, this game being about suicide and teen bullying. Like, you want to leave a hopeful message with that kind of thing when you're trying to, you know, especially if it's addressed to actual teenagers. Like, you don't need a hopeful ending for murderous, widowing husbands, but, but teenagers, let, let's give them a little hope. I am here for you, Anita. And I like the way they've ended it there. It's still pretty uh dark and it's open ended but it has hope there's a little bit of sunlight she walked up the staircase you know kind of hopeful she came through her darkness she's on the phone there's a little hope there but it's not like seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness it's running away the strongest animals don't form groups they act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back. To 18 year old me. I like it's addressed to her. I used to do that too as a kid. Write letters to your future self or whatever. That was really good. For a free game, that was a really, really cool uh, narrative. Really cool gameplay. Like, it was really moving. It was a lot of meat for something that's free. And we got a lot of meat off that bone. Moving it was fun. Oh, she did decide to try to go to school. I have my 
there's a lot of subtleties working in here with like the way that they've like it's it's well made really well made in really simple ways uh, I think people saying it's too simple a narrative are kind of missing a lot of smaller details, some real world history and stuff being woven in there and done in a really interesting way, some smaller details you can miss. Uh, just the reality, like this stuff is real and important right now, like we have still not done anything to deal with teenage bullying and sexual abuse and drug abuse online and how the internet exploits kids so much and so often and there's just no protections and like nothing being done. And, uh, and this game deals with a lot more than just that, but it definitely has that going on in the phone elements and the Twitter and the art and... I mean, there's some cool stuff here. The, the, the idealization of death and creation and that sense of, like, I should go out on top as a creator, like, that's so relevant, too, to a lot of real-world creators' actual history and creators who killed themselves. There's a lot of really beautiful visual effects and things that look so cool. Uh, things that are kind of upsetting to look at. Some some cool transitions. Um, I think some of the motions in the face, uh, I, I think were probably could have been cleaned up if this was a more polished, more like, put a lot of money in it video game. You know, like it's clear that they were still cutting some corners to save money because it is free. And that is totally valid. Like, good, good on y'all. You gave me a free game, that's fine. Uh, it was, it was good looking. Absolutely good looking. Like, they didn't just try and throw out, you know, a half-ass project here. They put some effort into it. <gasps> oh! We got some return in Silent Hill, folks! Oh my god, Tsujimoto Atsushi. I know that name. I am gonna have to peel through this and see if more names return. I reckon- Karita Yukito! That mu- Ichi- ah! There's at least three names I recognize as returning Silent Hill people other than the big ones. Ogawa might be... Oh my god, I am not gonna sleep tonight. Man, so cool. I enjoyed myself. And I think it's definitely a very necessary narrative. It's not as weird as some Silent Hill has been as a cult. It's not as uh, deep and literary. But not every Silent Hill has to be that way. And this is a cool presentation of how Silent Hill can tell a different kind of story that maybe speaks to a different audience, a younger audience, who needs horror stories too. Horror stories that relate to their lives. And will bring a new generation who, as they grow up, may look to the other Silent Hills and look at the more literary or adult versions of this world and say, hey, this shit's also for me, I like this. Like, very, very cool. Oh. Hmm. I love it. And the menu changes! That's so cool! I love this game! What a lovely little experience! Very hopeful for what the future will bring with Silent Hill now. Very cool stuff. I'm so excited to see what other things this studio will do. Um, Batman? Are you here, Batman? Batman's hiding. Batman doesn't want to say goodbye. So I will say goodbye, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!